Alrighty, so the first thing you will notice is the cutout in the center of the forks, the compression bolt, the spring for the compression bolt, the dust cap with the cutout to go with the fork also, and the little spacer that locks everything together. I'll show you how everything works and I'll explain in a bit more detail. That was just a brief summary of everything. Okay, so how this works, forks go in, you get your dust cap and you've got to line it up with the slot in the middle of the forks. So put that on, slide that in. Then with this, the spacer, you go straight in between the forks and you lock it in like so. So now that that's in there, you cannot pull anything out. And that movement also, when you put your spring in for the compression and the compression bolt, if you watch here, as I tighten up the bolt, it will push down the dust cap and lock everything in so you don't have head shake. So now that's locked in, there's no head shake, and that's how the compression system works. You also will notice you do not need a shim, so it is IHC and SES compatible. So you put it straight on and get your compression working. You don't have to add any bar adapters, any fork adapters, uh, or any shim. So it completely eliminates it, which is absolutely awesome. And not to mention, the whole design of the deck is pretty damn cool, if I do say so myself. So if I take it apart again, just to show you, so the compression, the spring loader compression, the SLC for the chapter two, and this is the street series. So you've got the five, three wide deck and the 21 inches long. Okay, now that I've shown you the scooter uh, from it being apart to me putting it together, now I'll take it apart again and explain a couple more things. Um, so the compression bolt and the spring, so that's, what that looks like so that completely eliminates you having to tighten your headset ever again it will as soon as you've tightened it up it will never ever come loose and that's why the spring loader compression is the first of its kind for the scooter industry now to take it apart to pull the forks off it will not come off like i said earlier you turn it upside down so the little bolt can unlatch you pull that out flip the scooter back up and pull off the dust cap with the cutout and there's your forks with the hole in it. So, so that's the whole teardown of the scooter. So please like this video, tag a friend, share it around. Big shout outs to Sacrifice for doing this spring loader compression. I really, really like what you guys have done. Um, and thank you.